Hi, my name is Daniel Pohl. I'm in the research group at Intel. We're researching real-time ray tracing. That's a method to render pictures, to do a two-dimensional image out of a three-dimensional scene. This time the update is we have a stereoscopic display. That means the viewer of this display gets a real depth impression of this scene. The way we're doing it is we have a special monitor which has like eight layers of glass behind it. And we're rendering eight different images and project them to the screen. And the very nice thing is people can now move around, they can rotate their head a little bit and they see the scene from a different perspective. One of the very nice things is you don't need special glasses to do that. And especially if you're wearing glasses like me, having another pair of glasses on top of your face is not very convenient. The other special effect we're showing today is a simulated 3D water. You can see here in the background these little white lines that's highlighting the triangle mesh we're using. We're having like 130,000 triangles to do this water surface around this island. We're updating every vertex, every frame. And it works pretty good. For a while in ray tracing it was considered like it's only good for static scenes because of the internal acceleration structures it used. But here's one of the proofs that you can use ray tracing also very good for dynamics. And we will have another proof like our 500 monster demo. One more thing we upgrade in our demo is the use of a lot of dynamic characters like these monsters here running. And in this island map we have around 500 characters that are being updated. As you can see we have a lot of them standing around everywhere and running and you can look around see even more. So it's almost, it's even more than what you usually have in a game. And here again it's a sort of the proof that ray tracing with dynamics works pretty good.